another person that was swallowed whole by a sperm whale and puked up alive. Living and it was boy? their family giving a reward to the fisherman. <laughs> this is a true story. Is that really? That's a true story. Really? So they were like, okay, we want to... All right, Ahab. No. Uh, Mr. Bartley, 1909, uh, England. Wow, that's, some, that, that's not only like a true story, but it's got facts with it there, Caleb. So I think, I think he knows what he's talking about. Yeah, right? well. Now let me ask you a question. It's completely stupid. It's going to show the ignorance and the lack of uh, public education here in the United States. But is Wales named Wales because of Wales? No. Okay. Can you, can you, can you, can you somehow make me uh, smarter than I am right now? Um, no. I, be- I believe it's named Wales because we couldn't think of anything worse to name it. Okay. Well, that makes sense. I mean, yeah. That's where Mexico got its name. <laughs> Here on the Cradle wow. Show, we do not intend to, or yes, we do intend to offend everyone. Actually, we do. So $11,000 for a piece of dried whale vomit. Who's the uh, who's the buyer for this? What and what's the what's the reason? Is it for Japanese? Reason? It's got to be research. What, I'm thinking it? it could. Well, you're on to something, Stacy or cheese. It would be the Japanese if it was a piece of petrified whale feces. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah they like the dude. Yeah, it would. Yeah. Would that be horrid? Was that sorry? <laughs> <laughs> what did you trade in that or something? Do you know? Is, it, is that on the stock market? Everyone knows the Japanese what, what are, are fecal filiacs. Wow. Everybody likes to poop over there. So dude. what you're saying is the Japanese are uh, are like Green Day. The only good thing about it is they're dookie. Oh, yes. he went back that, that is, far. That is wow, true. That, that is good. That is a fact. I like yes. that one there. That was, that was that nice. a fact. I mean, look, there are people out there that will pay strange things, strange amounts of money for animals. I'll and, pay large and, amounts of money for strange. Well, well I mean, <laughs> actually, when it's free, you tend to pay more. <laughs> well, this is true. But case in point now, let me introduce you to Medusa. Medusa is a $50,000 valued two-headed snake. Okay, there is a man named Todd Ray who purchased a $50,000 snake from the Venice Beach Freak Show that he, he named Medusa. She's a four-year-old double-headed Honduran milk snake that was actually, surprise, surprise, born in Florida. Uh, so he was quoted as saying, I've wanted her since the day it was born four years ago. Oh I went back God. and forth to the owner, and the price just kept it getting higher. The snake is perfect. Some other two-headed snakes are beautiful, but they have a kink where the head becomes one. Medusa doesn't. It's as if she was meant to have two heads. It was a, a milk snake? It was a, a Honduran milk snake. Wow, usually I have to pay somebody to give them my milk snake. <laughs> Sounds like this guy had his own kinks himself, if he's this excited about a snake. I, yeah. And, of course, it got it more expensive. I think as they get bigger, obviously, you're going to pay more, right? Because you've got to pay for all the mice. To maybe, cur- maybe it's an investment. Or, alternatively, the more you ask to buy it, the higher the price goes <laughs> up. <laughs> That's a good point. That's why you're such a business genius, Mr. Cheese. I, absolute Lord Cheese, I'm sorry. Now, this is how stupid snakes are, okay? Is that typically, <laughs> typically when you have... How uh, stupid well, are they? first of all... The, the first reason I'll give you for how stupid snakes are are girlfriends. Um, that's it. That's the whole reason why they're stupid. Second of all, oh, wait, that was us and our snakes. Um, second of all, two-headed snakes. Get no, that, did you? no. Two, yeah, two headed. So uh, hold on, hold on. Joe and I were going to do what, uh, what, what you and I usually do when Miggy tells a really bad joke. Joe? What? No. Wah, wah, wah. No. Yeah, no, no. Secondly, I mean, especially if we didn't get it. These snakes I'm sorry, are so was there a joke in there? <laughs> no, somewhere, I guess. These I don't snakes know, are so stupid. You know what sucks when Miggy's not hosting? Because all of a sudden my jokes aren't as funny <laughs> anymore. <laughs> you know what? We're having a scavenger hunt next week you're, to find Ben's so, joke, dude. It's so going to be crazy. You're only funny by comparison. I know. <laughs> it was like being the smartest kid with Down syndrome. I mean, it was a no brainer. <laughs> Secondly, the reason, uh, the reason why two out of snakes are so stupid is apparently when you go to feed them, you got to put, like, a piece of cardboard in between the two heads while you feed them so that they don't bite each other's head off, even though it's from the same animal. It's from the same body. See, I've seen that happen with Siamese twins. Sim- very similar type they of action. They each other's wait, head wait, off. Wait, well, no, you got to well, put the cardboard between them. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> was crazy. This, was, this, was this a Japanese porn site? Or nibbled each other's site? ear. Um, <laughs> this is actually a time when I used to work with uh, disabled kids for a while. <laughs> okay, that never happened. <laughs> um, no, no, I'd never seen a Siamese person bite the other Siamese person in the face, but I'd like to see it. Is that possible? <laughs> is there a website for that that I can see? That? I'm sure there is. 
All you Craniacs out there, if you know of a website where they uh, have uh, Siamese twins biting each other in the face, please send the information yes. to Reverend Joey T. He will appreciate it. Thank you. You are a sick man, Joey. <laughs> It's not for any sexual thing. I just want to see the battle because there's no oh, there's no it? arms involved. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, there's, there's there's no fighting at all. It's just arr, arr, well, back and forth. Dude. What if one controlled one arm and one controlled the other? You know what it's actually like? As it, that's even more interesting. But it's probably like one of those thumb wrestling things you used to do. Where you'd be like <laughs> thumb wrestling, got gotcha. you. You know, just kind of got to pin them down with your jaw. No, uh, no. Go ahead. Go this ahead. Is good. And you thought my joke was bad. <laughs> yeah. Really? Sorry. Sorry. I apologize. This is a downward spiral. On to the next story. Yes. Good Kermit idea. the Frog has a new girlfriend. Bad, bad idea from Kermit. Well, yeah. You've I seen don't mean that he has a new girlfriend. I mean that he has a girlfriend at all. Well, you know, you, you've seen Miss Piggy, you know. And, I have, yes. And, you know, for a Muppet on the heavier side, she's not a bad looking gal. She puts herself together nice. No, she's not. Okay. But she'll kill somebody. She's a fat pig, Caleb. Yeah, she is. Yeah. But, uh, no. Literally. Uh, literally. Uh, uh, the, so his new girlfriend, she's got some, some Asian anime eyes going on. So maybe she, I think she's maybe an Asian pig. Okay. Um, she's, so a lot, she's, she's a lot thinner than Miss Piggy. So she's probably underage. Go on. She's, she's a, a curvy brunette pig named Denise. It's a pig again. Another yeah, pig. It's another pig. It's, he, he, you know, hey. So he's got a type. Well, Cur- frogs do go for pigs. I mean, everybody <laughs> knows that. I, I, I mean, I do now. Do I, they have an education system? Here? How do you not know that? Well, I thought frogs went for other frogs. I didn't know. No. Okay, well, I learned something new. I never. I, you know what, Stacy? I've never owned a farm. You so know. You know what I fault, learned though. today, uh, Joe? I never knew you were a frog. Well, because I go for <laughs> pigs. Oh, <laughs> oh damn. I, I learned something not new today. <laughs> Don't cry, Joe. I learned, I learned when you said that your eyes are always in the gutter, that that's because you're Jewish and you're looking for change. No! Oh. Oh. I want to go back to this uh, Joe going for pigs thing. Um, <laughs> hey, I'll bang a you pig. Know, last I heard, he went for seven of them. Who did? Seven? Joe. Joe? Yeah. Yeah. Seven, pigs? seven. No? Seven. Oh. oh no no seven. actually oh <laughs> i see what you did there oh, okay. i see what you did there and in, the, in the reverend's sure. defense i heard that she was quite uh non uh pig like oh she okay no i did well you did, I did well i did well i heard he okay. did well yes huh? 27 i think so come on man yeah, or go. seven or, i mean well, never mind never no mind. seven that's well let's go back again. to kermit here he was quoted as saying, well, I prefer to keep my personal life private. Well, they prefer- I can't even talk like Kermit. <laughs> this is Hollywood, so who am I kidding, Kermit said. It is true that I'm dating again. However, at this time, no one woman, pig or otherwise, is my official new girlfriend. We are simply close friends. Well, I heard he's dating Bruce Jenner. Oh, I'm sorry, Caitlin. Wouldn't that be a great matchup? I saw the best meme today on an argument on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> and it was, it was a comeback said, well, split my dick and call me Caitlin. Oh, <laughs> Lord have mercy. Now, when it comes to uh, Miss Piggy and this situation, I mean, obviously, Kermit and Miss Piggy were together for a long time, right? Oh, quite, quite yeah. a long time. Like, like 70 years? So yeah, does know. this evoke a common law situation? Are there going to be some financial ramifications for Kermit? More importantly, is Kermit about to be sued? <laughs> I see what you did there. Yeah, um, I don't know. Was there? Was there? Uh, I'm just curious. I mean, as the as the Jewish host, I have to bring up the legal ramifications. It is my duty. Was there friglets? <laughs> is there friglets involved? <laughs> that's, all, that's all I want to know because that's probably where the judge is going to make most of his monetary decision. How many friglets they got? I mean, I think it's about time that Kermit's single. <laughs> don't you guys think so? Seriously, I'm surprised you ever got laid to begin with. I'm surprised Miss Piggy got laid. To be well, good. last I, well, I don't know. I think Kermit any did. Any sp- pig that puts it out there is going to get yeah, laid. Yeah, you put a lipstick on a pig. That's a good point. Stacey. I mean, he did. Spend you've a always lot of- got Joe in every bar. You do, but most bars. I'm not an all at one time, so I can't service all the pigs at one time. But you know, but you would like to try. It's like the pig. It's like the pig lottery. Where's he going to be tonight? <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> it's sweet, no man. I'm never wow. lonely. I'm never lonely, Lord oh, Jesus. Boy. <laughs> oh, boy, this show has gone downhill. <laughs> Guys, we're going to jump into a quick commercial break now. When we get back, we have two segments left. Did you know for Halloween, Craniacs, did you know that there is a blood rave out there where they will spray real blood over guests for Halloween? Did you know that? We're going to talk about a guy that hasn't showered for 12 years. And uh, some FIFA news, Stacy. some FIFA news in the next segment. 
a mob museum now paying homage to the FIFA scandal in Las Vegas. All Ukrainians, stay with us. We'll be right back after this. Do you feel like Mother Nature has made a mistake? Does your outward appearance differ from the person within? The Gender Reassignment Center may have a solution for you. Dr. Les Johnson is the leading expert in sex reassignment surgery. So if you suffer from gender identity disorder, why not call our office for a free consultation? Hi, I'm Susan, but I wasn't born that way. Dr. Les Johnson performed a vaginoplasty and Adam's apple shading and would fool even the most sober of men. The recovery period exceeded my expectations, and the best of all, I don't have to grow out a thick bush to hide that unwanted scar tissue. Whether I want to go with a landing strip or a Brazilian, my vajayjay is a okay. The Gender Reassignment Center offers affordable pay plans and can assist with relocation for those seeking a new start. So call us at one five 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 new unit to begin your transformation. Tired of putting up with those wimpy cell phone cases? Do you want a case that will withstand the direct impact from a rocket launcher? You know what you need? You need Insano Case! Insano Case! Insano Case is made out of adamantium and vibranium, so this case is f***ing indestructible! With Insano Case, your phone can... It can assist in knocking out walls for home renovation! Take out a tank! You can hone the edge of a thousand-year-old katana! It can even dry shave the beard off Chuck Norris! At Insano Case, we've spared no expense. We flew it up and we dropped it from space! With absolutely no damage to the phone inside! If you call now, we'll include all five colors! Just for a separate processing and handling. And if you combine all five colors, you can make the Power Rangers Megazord! Call us now to get your Insano case today at 1555 Insano 1. Get your Insano case today! Big Muffins! Yo, this Big Muffin, what'd you do? You get caught tripping? Miss Court, you got a warrant? No matter what you did, you got cash, Big Muffin's got your ass. Day or night, we'll keep your butthole right. Call one five 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 butt right Big Muffin's Bail Bonds, service in Greater Central Florida. When I get a break from gallivanting around the world, checking out all them fancy sports, I like to hang out with my boys at the Cranial Mission Show because they know how to get some trim. Ah, welcome back to the Cranial Mission Show, folks. Ben Charles, the C Squared, the Reverend Joey T, the Lord Stacy Cheese. I am all hanging out here at ESB Brewing, the penultimate segment of the program, broadcasting to you like we do every other week live here in Tampa, Florida from ESB Brewing. 333 North Falkenberg Road. Sweet tea. Sweet tea. 407. You want to be a part of the show? You can do so. You can do so by dialing 813-438-6068. Go to cranialmissions.com. Follow us there on the website. Listen to us live there. Listen to our archives there as well. And earmark where you are listening from, whether it's national, whether it's international. We want to know where you listen to this show. Absolutely. Love, we love to know where, where everybody's listening from. It you know, really makes us feel good when we hear, we see people listening from other countries, uh, you know, other states, things like that. We have, we have our core group of, of listeners around here that are some friends of ours. We have our core group of listeners that are uh, all around the world. And, and some of you guys, we don't know where you're at, so we'd love to know where you're at. And it would help me triangulate where I am. <laughs> so if you can do that, I'd really appreciate it. Frankly, I'm amazed that people listen. <laughs> well, that happens sometimes, too. Yeah, you know. You want to be a part of the social media wave. Follow us on Twitter at Crano E. Go to Facebook.com slash the Crano Missions Network. Like the goddamn page there for Crano Missions. And be a part of the wave. That is the Crano Missions Show. Miguel Hito, normally a host. He is manning the bar here at ESB. Getting us nice and properly drunk, which is the way we like to be. I teased before the break, guys, about the blood rave. Halloween is upon us, guys. We are about six weeks away 
from Halloween. Did you know that there is a rave now 